Well, congratulations you two, Matthew and Jade. I'm grateful to, to be able to be here with you. And uh, before we get too far, I just I want you guys to just kind of look out here real quick mm -hmm. and just look at the amazing support. Um, this is one of the things that I think is so wonderful and beautiful about experiences like this is um, two amazing families, um, two different backgrounds, and uh, all coming together and, and joined in one. And, and what a beautiful, beautiful thing that is. Marriage takes sacrifice. And so there's, there's gonna be times and, and days where life is crazy, where life is busy. There's gonna be a lot going on. And I want you to, to always take the time to find ways to sacrifice for each other. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Nothing good will ever come by bottling something up. There's gonna be challenging times as, as you work through difficult things. As much as you, always, you wanna think about it, you're not always gonna agree on everything, okay? And communication is just so key to be able to sit down and say, hey, let's talk about this. Say I love you, but show it, okay? I love you is, is a thing that is, is very powerful. It's a phrase that's very powerful. However, the way that you show that your love for one another is going to be what galvanizes that love throughout your marriage. And when you say I love you, sometimes I think it's totally appropriate to say I love you and I love you because, and then fill in the blank on that. You have known each other for a time through the first glance of acquaintance to this moment of commitment. At some moment, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of, de of yes, Indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, or over a meal, or during long walks, all those sentences that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will, those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. Just two people working out what they want, what they believe, what they hope for each other. All these common things are more and the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Take just a moment to look at one another and remember this moment in time. You are crossing a threshold of life where me and I transform to we and us let, it, let this moment in time, coupled with this ceremony and the vows you are about to make, springboard you into a life of joy and fulfillment together. Matthew Brian Marion and Jade Brooklyn Mills, you have taken one another by the right hand in token of the vows you will now enter into the presence of God and these witnesses. Matthew Brian Marion, do you receive Jade Brooklyn Mills as your lawfully wedded wife? And do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. Jade Brooklyn Mills, do you receive Matthew Brian Marion as your lawfully wedded husband? And do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise as his companion and lawfully wedded wife that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live? I do. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Matthew Brian Marion and Jade Brooklyn Mills, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together. And may he bless you to keep, keep the sacred vows you have made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. You may now kiss his husband and wife.